My name is Sister Judy Best, and I'm sitting in the cemetery at Santa Maria in Riva in St. Louis. And I'm doing that on this pandemic day with my mask on because I really have found so much encouragement from our sisters who've gone before us, especially in times that are really tough as our pandemic is right now. Two sisters, a novice I should say, and an aspirant who died in the 1918 flu epidemic are buried in the cemetery. And both of them were young and encouraged by our lifestyle to join the congregation, even in the midst of what was a very dangerous time. Needless to say, our foundress, Blessed Teresa Gear Hardinger, was really a practical mystic. And I find in her letter number 4050 on practical advice during wartime, so helpful at this time, especially as we're looking at ways to deal with the unexpected. And I must add part of this presentation today comes because of a quote I read recently from John Banville in his novel, The Sea. He said, the past beats within us like a second heart. The past beats within us like a second heart. And so I take comfort and encouragement from the words of Mother Teresa, and I'm going to be quoting parts of her letter, number 4050, on practical advice during wartime. This is written July 1866, and our sisters in Germany are in the Franco-Prussian War, but she alludes to the fact that in America, our sisters have just finished the Civil War. She talks about encouraging one another, and remember she was talking to teachers. So I uh, am sending this little thought to those teaching online at this time. She says, let us not be carried away by anger against the children in school. Let us not engage in rudeness or offending remarks about their parents, even if they despise us, or if the children fail to do their homework. Today, prudence demands more than ever that we try to accomplish by patience and love as much as we can in school and that we are satisfied with that until the Lord sends better times. So to all of our teachers attempting to teach during these hard times, I send my love and encouragement in these words from Mother Teresa. If war should spread to areas where our sisters are, it is possible that all who wish to stay may be asked to acquire food to last them for a longer period of time. In God's name, we will comply to the extent that our cash permits. But let us also trust in divine providence who feeds the birds of the air. And let us love our holy poverty. Perhaps one last thought before I conclude. As members of a religious community, she says, we do not discuss the war with strangers. Refrain from denouncing others, be it friend or foe or authority. And we pray daily with the children that God may grant a happy outcome. So the past beats within us like a second heart. And may we be encouraged today by these words of Mother Teresa.